Hi everybody, I'm Kirk Peace at University Honda, and this is the all new 2018 Odyssey van. So when talking about the new 2018 Odyssey, you can kind of just say bigger and better on a lot of things. This opening, larger than it used to be, and the height to step in is lower than any other vehicle in its class. So the convenience factor of a van has actually gone up. In this middle row, all these seats can be removed, but you can run this in different configurations. And now they've made it very easy to slide these seats with the center seat out, you can move them together on one side, together on the other side, but you have all sorts of configurations for that middle row. And to get in the back, you just pull this lever and you can step right into the back. So as we move to the back, one new thing that Honda did with Touring and Elite trimmed Odysseys, now this particular one is a Touring, but they added a hands-free tailgate opening system so if your hands are full with luggage or groceries you can do the little kick pretend you're a magician and voila a lot like the side doors this opening into the back is bigger than it used to be so if you've had the previous generation Odyssey this is the biggest access you will have into the back now versatility is huge on this van you can remove all those middle seats you can remove some of them You've got cargo space carved out here while the full seat arrangements are up, but you can also remove these into that space. So your third row seat virtually disappears. Another cool thing that the last Odyssey had that they kept is the famous Honda Vac. So on touring and elite trims, you've got vacuum, built right in, super convenient. And this will reach pretty much everywhere in the car. You ready to go. Um, I'm not the smallest adult and I'm pretty comfortable back here. If you look, they've done a really good job carving out your shoulder space. So even full-sized adults can sit here, they can have their own side. You can watch your movie. This one comes with a Blu-ray player, DVD, as well as uh, HDMI inputs to plug in video game systems. And what's even better is you can recline this back seat. And what we're looking at right now is Honda's app that basically shows you how far along you are on your trip. So if you have a coordinates plugged in on your GPS, It'll show you how far you've gone, how much you have left, and it's basically Honda's best attempt to avoid the, everyone's favorite question, are we there yet? So as we come into the front cabin, some things that are familiar and some things that are new. So you got your cruise control on the right side, audio and visual things on the left. Honda's Odyssey now comes standard with sensing on EX and above. So that's things like adaptive cruise control, lane mitigation assist, uh, collision mitigation assist. They've also added knee airbags, standard for both driver and passenger, which is another Honda first. This is the biggest and brightest display that Honda has had to date. Not only does it run Android, Apple CarPlay, all sorts of apps, but new things like Cabin Watch and Cabin Talk. This center console is now fixed, it can't be removed reason why they did that is so this way you can now plug your smart devices in and keep them running and if you actually have a wireless charging device it can wirelessly charge on this pad on the touring and touring elites any car that comes with rear entertainment comes with Honda's wireless headphones for the back seats so you can listen to whatever you want as the driver up here kids or company can listen to whatever they're watching on their headphones and it works out really well so one thing that's brand new, first time ever, we're excited about is Cabin Watch and Cabin Talk. So we select that app and it pulls up a camera that shows your back seats. So make sure the kids or your company are behaving themselves. And if they're not, 
You can hit cab and talk, it interrupts their headphones, and you can speak to them directly. Stop pulling your sister's hair. It works. The upper trim levels of Odysseys actually can be Wi-Fi enabled, so if you wanted to get a Wi-Fi contract through AT&T, you can. This also has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, so you can run your smartphone, and what's nice is it also runs your Maps app on the screen. So if we wanted to go to the Grand Canyon, 19 hours, not too bad, uh, we can do so. Starting route to Grand Canyon National Park. Turn right onto Northwest 9th Street. So if you look under the hood of the new Odyssey, you will find a 3.5 liter V6 engine and pretty much everything else covered up. So not too easy to work on yourself, but we're happy to do it for you. Um, this engine does 280 horsepower, which is 32 more than the previous generation, which is great. The new Odyssey is lighter than the previous generation, more powerful. It gets 19 miles in the city, 28 on the highway, which is phenomenal. Now, this is the 10-speed automatic transmission, so it does a little better fuel economy. The rest of them are 9-speeds, um, and they get virtually the same, but just a little bit less. This car also has an integrated snow mode, so works with the vehicle stability assist, uh, basically traction control, and helps you navigate the snow a little better. It's not all-wheel drive, it's a front-wheel drive car, but it has some technology that will help you navigate snow easier. So that's it, 2018 Odyssey. If you're interested in this vehicle or any other Honda, you know where to find us, 9th Street in Corvallis or at uhonda.com. We're happy to help you with all of your Honda needs. Thanks for watching.